Hello guys, welcome back to Headset VR and the return of Layers of Fear in this fiendishly freaky game. Oh, it seems we have found some rather bizarre and odd things. First of all, flapping horror, be quiet, constantly flapping, eating other rats. Don't know what that is. I don't know if I want to know. Oh, stop looking at me like that. It's just a little something to help me focus on my work, that's all. that's all. And it appears that our character is a bit of a drinker. Now, if you don't know Layers of Fear, Layers of Fear is about a painter trying to do his magnum opus. As you can see, what a pretty picture that monstrosity is. Yes. But yes, the idea is you go around, find pieces to whatever it is you're finding pieces to, and you complete the painting. Now, so far I've gone round and found a piece of flesh and a bottle of blood. Now, these two bits aren't open yet. As you can see, we've still got four parts to complete. But as of yet, I've not come across any kind of enemies. It does appear to be... A bit of a walking simulator horror, as I say. I've not come across any enemies yet. No doubt this ugly fucker is what was running around the corner for me when I cut the video short. And yes, I was shitting myself. <laughs> now, the thing that I love the most about Layers of Fear, apart from not really knowing the game, is the fact of, well, let me just show you. If you've not seen the video before. Oh, let me get back to sitting down. As you can see, we're leaving the room with our painting in it. Which, as you know, was on the um, easel just over there. So, what we'll do now is leave the room to this corridor. And we'll go back into the room. Oh, okay. We won't go back into the room. It appears to be locked. Now, this was actually part of, the, of what I did yesterday, but we're going to do it again because it's just nuts. But we'll go through a little bit quicker. Now, you can hear the phone ringing there. It's for you. <laughs> it's for you Whoosh! And up it goes. Okay, that was on the platform above. So if we keep walking around, eventually we... Phone please! Thank you. Now that's what you call manners. Now, if we keep going round... Yes, this is a bizarre game. But, um, phone please! Thank you. No, we can't seem to answer it. But what we can do is walk back the other way by phone. So if we walk back the other way, notice the ringing. Listen, if we walk this way. Did you hear that? Listen to the ringing if I walk this way. And if I walk this way, oh, there goes the phone. And what was that? Yes, it rings him forwards. Now, as you know, there was a door at the end of this <clears throat> corridor. Oh. Yes, 
Yes. As I say, fiendishly freaky. Those are the words I use to describe this game. Oh, but the phone stopped ringing then. So, where are we going now? No, it wasn't much further than this that I got last night. Now, I don't recall this door. Oh, I do. Oh, shit. Okay. Yep, I remember this part. Now, get ready. Brace yourself. Wah! Yeah. <laughs> it still shipped me up. Whatever it was. Okay. Oh, goosebumps. Yep. Now, I warned you it was coming. I knew it was coming, but it still shipped me up. I'm guessing. It's made a bit of a mess. And as you can see, things have gone a little bit topsy turvy. Life is a little bit upside down at the moment. Okay. I don't know who came up with the idea of this. Okay. We're going to try something this time. Now, when you flick the light, it turns round. So we're going to... Well, hey, look at that. I'm back. No, okay. Maybe not. Now, there wasn't a great deal in here yesterday. Although, underneath the fork was the note with the bat that we saw. Okay. And then at the end. Oh, one thing I will check very quickly. Graphics. Let's increase the brightness. Okay. Not because I'm scared of the dark, but because some of the pictures I was taking didn't come through very well. Okay. Maybe that's a little bit too bright. There we go. We'll do that. Okay. Apologies. Back to the game. Okay. Now here's where we left things last night. And I'm expecting on this long corridor something rather not so cool. Yeah, that's not cool. Can we go back, please? Okay. Now, I'm a little bit daunted by the prospect of this. Because, like I say, that bat thing, whatever it is, looks like something I'd like to run from. <laughs> okay. Okay. Someone's left the window open. Just gone cold. Whoa. I was going to run then, but I've decided against it. Um, Okay, not to sound a bit of a wimp, but oh, we can't go back. Oh. <laughs> I don't like that bottle. Come to me, bottle, come to me. <gasps> Makes my heart skip a beat. What's that in there? Can you see that? 
I hope that's lights and not eyes. <gasps> the fucking hell's that? Okay. This curtain's gonna blast forward in a second. Somebody stagged him. Don't like that corridor. Okay. Doorway roulette is back. Hope is the mind killer. Wasn't the mind killer I remember. Door gonna lock? Or is it gonna do doorway roulette? No. Doorway roulette is sort of fun in a weird way. So as you can see, well actually you haven't seen yet, rather me explain. I'd like to just show you because it's quite bizarre. But you'll see what I mean by doorway roulette. Okay, so we can go down. What have we got? Okay. Where if I can go? No. Oh, anything with a door is something to worry about. Yeah, you know this is going to have me, isn't it? Oh, okay, it didn't have me. In any case, as your law and advisor refrain from any impurity, always don't do anything stupid. Well, let's believe it or not, oh, deep shit than this just don't work so well. Uh, yeah, I can improve it. Need to work on it. That wood doesn't sound altogether safe. Okay. I sense a moment is coming up. No. Oh my god. Okay. Ah. Now it's locked. It crossed my mind that if it didn't lock, it was allowing you something to run to leg it through the hallways because something's coming after you. I do think that thing is going to be around here somewhere. Okay. What's behind me? Okay. Keep delving forward now. There's a door there. Will it let us in? It does. Then what is Whoa! That made me jump. Now the only thing is 
Ooh, the floorboards don't seem particularly safe. I think we've been here before, maybe. Oh, gonna squidge open a bit. Oh, okay, no, we can't get through that way, so we have got to go this way. Yeah, I'm getting suspicions of rats. A rat crossed with a bat. That looks particularly suspicious in front of me. What are you? A bloody tap. Okay, that's not particularly appealing. Any chance we can turn you off? Yeah. Okay. I wonder what happens if I leave it running. And our rat bat friend. See, I am desperately worried our rat bat friend will appear. And that might be something for it to feast on. What kind of happened then? Now, obviously, that's saying, You're not coming through here, motherfucker! That's the way. Oh, but we are. We'll come back in a minute. Can I pick this up? No. Okay. It's the bathroom. Great, you know I'm bursting for a poo. Don't mind me, guys. Ooh. Oh, there we go. Oh, God, the door's open. Oh. Okay, and, um, yeah, we're done. Oh, I don't want to do that with the seat down. Oh, silly me. Okay. Do we really want to look at what's in that bath? Okay. Probably not a great idea. But you know what? It seems like it's trying to tell us the message. Hey, little kiddie. Hey, little bumpkin. Silent floaters. I think I've just done one of them. Silent floaters clog the drains, fern the water, no bass for me. Well, not the kind of silent floater I was thinking of. Yeah. Can we just try and get rid of the silent float again? Yeah, obviously working. And um, the madness isn't happening yet. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, I'm just thinking to myself that we haven't had no shit ups for a few minutes. So, okay, does that door. Open, no. Can I take this? I'd like a bit of security and a bit of lights, no. Oh, wonder what that was then. God, that's still through the heads instead.
Yep, looks like a bit of a roomy cupboard. Not really sure why that was locked, but you know what? Well, it's open now. Oh. All those white particles in there. Don't know. But this seems all too quiet for my liking. Let's uh, put the light on. A little bit less um, of a mess. Okay, let's close that one. Save it, Kristen. Yeah, as you can see, I'm a little bit hesitant. Okay. Let's try that one. Yeah, that was the one I really wanted anyway. Yep, I told you that was walled up, didn't I? I bet you any money this is walled up too. And we're going to go to the one that was just where we came from. And here we have it. There you go. Now, as you've probably just seen in the video, I came through that door. And now it's changed into a freaky hallway. Okay, now, I must admit, it is... out guys you've put magic mushrooms in the cups of tea again please be careful with how much you drink Ooh. okay walking down LSD lane Whoa, that kind of messes with your eyes. Now, as I was saying, this is a bizarre game, but I think that's part of the attraction. So far, we've not encountered any enemies or anything that chases us. Although, I'm gathering that's going to change at some point. Whoa. Oh, we've got it's a normal corridor again. Wonder what happens if I go back. Yep, looks like a normal corridor again. But that was bizarre. It's it's brilliant the way they've done it with a little design. You go into a room, you find it's all bricked in all that, you turn around and go back the way you came, and it's completely changed. And it does kind of throw you a little bit at first. But now it's something I sort of look forward to. Especially if the first time you open the door, there's something nasty there, like. Although we've not really come across many nasty things so far. As you can tell, I'm not confident that's going to stay the same, though. Especially when you get sound effects like this. Every doorway and every corridor looks fucking ominous to me. And like I say, we've not come across a direct threat, particularly. Although there have been occurrences when something's appeared be behind me and made me jump. But I think that time for that doorway that's the first time we've seen something here. I mean, we've seen a couple of people. Obviously, the um, freaky teleporting lady from yesterday. 
and there was somebody as I went up in the lift that I saw on the one floor and then you've got whatever that was at that doorway okay now there was an odd piano yesterday that although it didn't play itself It did enjoy particularly moving by itself. Oh. Something on the wall. Dangling dread, patient, thirsty, furry leeches, afraid to look up. Oh. That just gave me the willies. Well, I think it was the leeches. I'm glad I didn't get no willies. That would be just disgusting. Penis is hanging from this, from the ceiling. Oh. Well, I suppose as long as they're not mine. No, okay. As I was mentioning, there was a piano yesterday that liked moving by itself. Why has that just got? Something dodgy just written all over it. Okay. Okay. Gravity has completely disappeared. Whoa. Find out. Isn't that from Ikea? Hmm. Okay. I think it's time to leave. Although, now everything's moving, that may make an additional exit for us. Whoa. No way out. Doesn't actually look like it. There's an additional way out. Okay. Let's go back to this piano again. I needed to remove the flesh from the bone. At first, I was lost as to how. But then I sawed it off with a handsaw, as you did. Boiled it, then oh. put the bone in a mortar. I had to get one. Obviously, this was not something I'd done before. Finally, I mixed the dust with some white paint. It made for a lovely undercoat. Oh, splendid! Yeah, I'm glad you approve of them. Um, okay. Now I'm assuming that if I go back through the doorway at the top of the stairs, up here, hmm. Right, before we do something here, I'm going to get done over if I don't add some light to the room. Because it happened yesterday. And I lost my whole recording. Yeah, so we're not falling foul of that, but now that it's gone dark, We're going to go upstairs. Okay, but before we do, it's very quickly.
take that off. It's okay, I'm not taking clothes off. I'm not taking shoes off. I'm just taking my watch off. Don't want to bang it. Okay. Now that we've got the bone, I'm gathering this will take me back to the original painting room. Ta-da! Magic. Oh. Might have a bit of a mess in here, haven't we? And what we do, because I'm such a fantastic painter, That is just magnifique. Look at that. No wonder it's a Magnus or Opus Magnum. And there you can see. We have now done the third part. Anybody fancy getting boned? Hmm. Yes. Right. So it seems now we need to go for the fourth part. Okay. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, as we've just got the fourth part, we will leave the video here. Now I haven't run out of time. I'm going to just take a short break. Okay. And from here, I will come back and continue shortly. And we will head towards that fourth part. Now, I don't know how many people have actually played Layers of Fear, but personally, I think this is one of my favourite ever horror games. It seems like it's quite short, but it doesn't matter, because it seems like it is worth every single moment of my time. Now, okay, so if you would, you could like, subscribe, make rude comments, Send insults, but please beware, there may be children watching. But other than that, I'd just like to say, this has been Headset VR, playing Layers of Fear, obviously in VR. And I hope you've enjoyed the video. See you back for the next one. Bye-bye.